means there's a baby. Oh my god, there's a baby. Oh my god. It is so tiny. <laughs> oh my gosh. We just missed it. Well, what's up guys? It's Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and boy have I got a video for you. DJ has no idea. I literally just walked outside to feed and this morning Emily and I went deer hunting and when we came back by the pen we were walking, I noticed Lucy was laying in a leaf pile. She was just laying there and I kind of walked by and talked to her. She stood up. Everything was just fine and dandy. Come out to feed and I thought, Something's not right with Lucy. I don't think, I don't know. Something doesn't seem right. Lucy, is everything okay? Huh? Uh, see that, guys? Are you here? Lucy! What? What did you do? Hey, <laughs> look at you. Oh, brand new baby. Yeah. Gotta get all this stuff off of you. Yeah. Gotta get all this stuff off of you. Oh my goodness. It fell down. It fell down, Lucy. You had a baby. Oh, it's all dirty. It needs to go up to the barn, Lucy. Look at you. Why is she running? Why are you running? What? I said, why are you running in your duck no, shoes? When you do that, that means there's a baby. Oh my God, there's a baby. Oh my God. It is so tiny. <laughs> oh my gosh. We just missed it. Uh, yeah, there's the afterbirth. She didn't have it earlier when Emily and I got back from hunting. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Lucy had a baby. Lucy had a baby. Maybe I should have had Joanne come out and check. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look, this guy over here is curious. He's like, uh, what's oh going my on? Gosh. Look at Rufus. Coming in clutch again. Oh my gosh. Isn't that crazy? Do we know what it is? Not yet. Oh, it's so wobbly. Oh. Good job, Lucy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was trying to get all this, uh, afterbirth stuff off of it and it just kept coming to me and wanting to nuzzle up against me i think it's a girl i think i'm sure that's a girl mm. Mm. Huh? Job, definitely a girl definitely a little girl oh that's sweet look at this oh it's so a uh, very wobbly, very wobbly. <laughs> hey, baby girl. She seems to have reverse figured out. Forward gears are a little more difficult. Jimma. Jimma. Jimma, get back. I cannot believe how tiny she is. So, uh, about Rufus, so, senior. So Rufus Sr. was clearly not infertile. We're two for three. So far. So far. Hmm. So like, are we on baby watch for, for Tina now? I feel like we have to be. I mean, I don't know. I mean, haven't we been on baby watch? I mean. Kind of? Sort of. I mean, I, I really wouldn't even say we pay super close attention because nothing's changed. They haven't gotten bigger bellies or anything. No, no. Uh, Lucy uh, did not look pregnant. Mm -mm. But alpacas are strange, man. They're hard to tell. I'm not going to lie. Um, 
so far this is our fourth baby alpaca that's been born on this farm mm -hmm. and we've never been like we're having an alpaca today <laughs> we're having an alpaca this week no. we're having an alpaca this month no <laughs> it's so wobbly mm -hmm. yes. much much smaller than what little rufus jr oh, yeah. was when he was born little rj um i kind of want to get him beside her just to see the yeah. size difference because i mean i know he's what a month and probably over a month old now yeah but still he is so much bigger than her but like you said lucy was a tiny little girl she was uh she was about six months old when we got her but she was very small i mean get this off it's, still. it's so weird they're they're a uh, birth sack what is it called you had them on your kids yeah. what the babies are in when they're uh, born a hair mama. Uh, yeah keep sticking your fingers in there will. anyways on them it's like a plastic bag here you go, mama. i was trying to give her back to you here you go lucy's still wobbly on her feet like she's been for the last five months come on mama so this is Lucy's first baby ever. So uh, we're gonna have to keep a close eye on mama and baby and make sure they both do all right. Hmm? <laughs> She's curious too, like RJ, look at that. That grosses you out. Oh. What did you do with your placenta after Houston was born? Listen, that's not the same. <laughs> that is not the same. Where, where, that's where? Uh, same. Let's discuss this. Where is your placenta from Houston's birth? I know a lot of people want to hear this. <laughs> so, uh, I had my placenta encapsulated. It was dehydrated, encapsulated, and put into pill form because it's super good. Listen, and you did that. It did not look like that. That is not what I did. No, I took it in a pill because it's supposed to be super good for you. Obviously, I get like a lot of animals eat their afterbirth because it's very good for them. Including DJ. And it was amazing. I'm just going to say that. I still have some left. So. <laughs> yeah, we still have Houston's placenta in our freezer. Listen, it's in a peel. You make it sound horrible. Well, uh, DJ's donkey den, the new barn is completed. Um, it's too bad we don't have the stalls done yet. We would have our first baby for our new stalls that we're going to build inside our barn. Ain't that right, little baby? You are wobbly and very curious. You know that? Hmm? Whoop! Life is just difficult. I mean, it does that to us all sometimes, right? You're just minding your own business, trying to find you some breakfast, and bam! Oh! <laughs> Lucy, come back. So I didn't, I didn't help the issue here because Lucy does not like to be alone and I came out and fed everybody and all the rest of the alpacas left and Lucy's concerned because she's alone oh, and the baby the can't keep up. Okay, that's good. Here comes, yeah. here comes a few more alpacas. So cool. Three generations. Look at her. She looks like a baby camel. <laughs> well, she kind of is. I know. <laughs> Just like a baby camel. I mean, almost the same thing. Almost, but not. They do not get as large. Thank the Lord.
Look, I, she just saw her. Yeah, here comes her mama. Her mama's getting curious. Oh, oh. Stay on your feet. And there's Dolly and little RJ. So Lucy, our mama, our new mama here, has had this issue for several months where she's really unsteady on her back feet, her back legs. We've had the vet out a couple times. Um, we've done several different things. I mean, we thought maybe that uh, our new male had injured her trying to breed her, which obviously he did not breed her because clearly she was already pregnant. She was already pregnant. But still unsteady on her feet. Oh, look, here comes Grandma. Look at that. Oh, oh my gosh. You got a whole alpaca family there. I know. Oh, 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 RJ said, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to go over there. What do you think there, Tina? You're a grandma. Do you uh, feel old? Yeah, look at the size difference in RJ and the new baby. Look at this. Everybody wants to be involved, and now the baby doesn't know who to nurse and where the milk's at. And Golly. <laughs> Tina, hey. It was her fault. It was. <laughs> Who's the most aggressive here? Gemma, you better not get me bit and spit and spit on and all that stuff. Look, everybody's li licking on the baby. Listen, I know everybody wants to help. RJ, um, no, you need to stop that. That's mom. Listen, everybody wants to help. Everybody wants to meet the new baby, but uh, mom needs to learn how to let the baby nurse. That's, that's our main concern right now. So everybody else, RJ's got side interest. Oh, mom just spit on him. <laughs> Gemma, you better stay back. <laughs> She's like, I think I'll just take a break. <laughs> Tina, don't be a jerk. Gemma is minding her own, <laughs> own business now. Don't be picking on Gemma. RJ, that's your sister. I know you weren't ever that small, but. <laughs> Dang, I wish I'd have been out here to catch that in time on video. We have never successfully filmed an alpaca birth. This is as close as we've ever been. <laughs> she gets tired. Yeah, she does. I don't like that. Come on, baby. You can get up. Get up. Mama's got to take care of you. Get up. Oh. Get back, Jimmy. Uh -oh. Whoa. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's spitting on RJ. Yeah, he won't leave her alone. Come on, Lucy. That's your baby. You got to take care of her. Gemma, you're not the mama. You're not mom, okay? All right, so while we have completed DJ's donkey den shed here, <laughs> we just finished this actually yesterday. Uh, really haven't shown you guys all of it, but it's just a lean-to. 12 by 20 with an 8 foot by 20 foot porch off the front of it. The unfortunate part is the stalls that we're planning on building 
haven't been started yet. It would have been nice if we had those done first. But we did put together a little stall under the roof here because... Why is it, DJ? What's supposed to happen? It's supposed to rain. A lot of rain. A hundred percent chance of rain tonight. Yes. Fingers crossed we get it. I bet it sprinkles. <laughs> Hopefully but we get more sprinkles. We, uh, we don't feel comfortable leaving Lucy and her little baby out here alone. It is supposed to rain and storm and all that, but we also want them confined together because Lucy is a first time mom and we're not sure how she's gonna handle all of this and how well she's gonna be um, willing to allow her baby to nurse, which she seems to be doing now. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. We watched forever and she wasn't letting her. But the baby is, what, maybe an hour old? Yeah. Maybe less than that. So we don't think it's nursed yet. Now that the other alpacas have wandered off they got to meet the baby um lucy seems to be a little less confused the baby on the other hand is trying to nurse off the tree so uh I think, yeah. definitely a rufus baby <laughs> yes definitely a rufus everybody baby. loved him to pieces not the smartest no not the smartest guy around <laughs> but uh we're gonna go ahead and take the baby and i brought a halter and a lead rope lucy could you put this on for me please <laughs> not fall down ready bam it worked good job lucy uh but we can't go anywhere just yet because mm. baby's trying to nurse actually mm. baby is nursing good job mom mm. 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 i don't speak alpaca very well but uh i'm learning I'm trying. I'll pack a knees. I'll pack on my bags. All right, let's take them up to the barn. I feel like I have to ask, would you rather lead Lucy or carry the baby up there? I, really I don't know which one. I'm going to carry the baby. Shocker. Yeah. Oh, oh she's so tiny. Oh, my goodness. Oh, All neck and legs. All legs. I don't know how to hold her. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Mom. Lucy said, "Don't drop her." Okay, I won't. I'm I'm still working on my alpaca knees. <laughs> Come on, Lucy. <laughs> Good girl. Mm -hmm. We're all humming in here. Uh huh. We made it to the barn. <laughs> Got a bag of shavings put down, and we'll get her some water and some food. And uh, let me unhook this, Lucy. You trust me? Hmm. She's like, "Well, you put it on me, so there we go." All right, mom. Are you willing to leave mom <laughs> yes. and baby alone for a little while? I mean, only because I have to go to work. I have to go take pictures. Okay, here we go. Well, I said you could call in because because uh, you got called into work. I did. You weren't supposed to work today, and look at this. Pretty soon we'll have some brand new stalls that won't have dirt floors, have concrete, and then we'll put shavings down. And be nice and clean, but not yet. It's coming. All right, well, Lucy and her little baby here have fresh food and water. We did get to see the baby nurse a little bit. Ain't that right? You sure are sitting strange. Why don't you uh, fix those legs? No, 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 no. You're going, you're staying in there with mom. But we're going to give them a little alone time. Lucy's, uh, Lucy's in the stall where the other alpacas can, can come up to the edge of the fence. She does not like to be alone, so that's the only thing that concerns me. But I want them to, to bond more than anything right now. And we want to see, continue seeing this tiny little baby nursing.
put out a fresh bale of hay, obviously since, you know, no grass, but I went ahead and locked the goats and the alpacas and uh, Mr. Steve in this pasture. Since we do have a 100% chance of rain, um, DJ doesn't want her donkey girls left out in the back pasture without shelter. And since we did just finish DJ's donkey den, I kind of feel like I'm supposed to open the gate and let her donkeys in here. Um, but here's the finished project. Uh, it does not have uh, a gate on the back yet, but we still have the fence intact. We can't walk through the back door just yet. So that'll probably be a project later this winter. Redo the fence and put a, uh, a door of some sort back there. But like I said earlier, 12 by 20 under the three-sided enclosed shelter with an eight-foot, we're going to call it a porch, off the front. Basically just to give whichever animals are in this pasture at the time a place to get out of the rain and that'll block the wind the back wall back there faces to the north so animals have structure to get under protect them from cold wind rain snow whatever so i'm gonna go back here and open the gate for some reason i think it's pepper likes to drag all of our feed buckets our uh our bowls that we feed in away from where we feed so it's a constant game i don't know if it's her or Steve. Steve might be the one dragging them back here. Hey girls. What are y'all up to? I'm going to open the gate and let you come in this pasture. Probably going to jinx us and it won't rain after I do that, but I don't know. Hopefully we'll get some rain. Um, I've never seen our pastures look so poor. I mean, even on the outside, outside the fence. There's a little bit of green in there, but not much. Across the creek over there now, it's looking a little green, but there's nothing ever grazed over there. Huh, girls? Watch out. Back up. I got to open the gate that way. Back up. Back up. Back up. Jer. Hey, we got a, a new baby alpaca. Um, definitely not your daughter, but a new baby girl. Maybe for you someday. I think, uh, oh, let's see if they're all smart enough to walk around the gate. Come on, Jay. Hey. Hey, girl. Come on. Let's go, Jesse. Teach your moms how to walk around the gate and through the opening. Fallon figured it out, huh? So I'm not going to shut this gate. I'm going to leave it open because DJ just put out a fresh bale of hay in there a couple days ago. And she really likes the donkeys to be able to come up behind the house. So for now, while we have this chance of rain, uh, we're going to let the girls in this pasture and just leave the gate open. So I think that's going to wrap it up for me today. Uh, told you guys at the beginning of the video, this was going to be... I had a great video for you guys, and we did not expect to have a baby alpaca on the ground today. We were not really, truly, honestly expecting another baby alpaca, because as you guys have, uh, if you followed the storyline, Rufus, our former male alpaca, who we lost in an unfortunate, um, let's call it attack, we're not going to say accident, um, was sterile. The vet told us he was sterile, so we had him castrated and bought Jerry. And then we had RJ, who was Rufus's baby, looked just like him. And that's why he's RJ. He's Rufus Jr. Now we have a teeny tiny little female alpaca from Lucy. And uh, we're going to have to keep a close watch on her because she is tiny. And this is Lucy's first baby. So we're going to do everything we can to make sure baby and mama are happy and healthy and survive. And uh, DJ's donkey herd, they're okay. So anyways, guys, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You guys have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.